Hearing about the pineal gland, one reminisces about science lessons on human anatomy in school. Those who had been interested in it would easily recall that it is hormone-secreting organ in the human brain that is related to the sleepiness and wakefulness of humans. Scientists do believe in its significance for the cyclical rhythms of sapiens, especially the sleep cycle. However, what is covered in this discussion is its importance for the ulterior functions that this gland performs. The positivist explanation of this gland is superficial in the sense that it has limited its utility for the sleep cycles of humans. On the contrary, it is the spiritual and metaphysical aspect that endeavors to portray its real significance in human lives. The roots of the pineal gland as a third eye are found in Hinduism. It is a source of enlightenment for people and makes them see what they cannot see with their two eyes. The third eye raises us to a level where we can make sense of events in the world and beyond. Having sprung from Hinduism, this concept has found appeal in certain New Age beliefs that scour the metaphysical and religious texts to better understand human life and its inherent purpose. So, the answers that cannot be found through science can conveniently and justifiably be attained through spirituality. Without exaggeration, the pineal gland as a third eye is central to this explanation. As mentioned, the foundation of this concept lies in Hinduism. This concept introduces seven chakras. These are energy centers within the human body that provide different types of energy to the body. Among these chakras is the Ajna chakra. It is situated between the eyebrows around the region of the forehead, proximate to the two eyes, which is why it is considered the third eye. Ajna chakra or the pineal gland, is concerned with intuition, insight, and awakening of individuals. Seeing beyond the physical dimensions of space is possible through this energy center. It is the same reason that finding the purpose and awakening of the mind is so important in this religion. The concept of seeking the goal through the pineal gland is explained in Hinduism with some basic principles. These basics are also expounded by the New Age scholars in explaining the happenings in their surroundings. First is the fact that the gland, or the third eye, instills wisdom and intuition in humans. What is normally not seen and experienced through rational wrangling for answers is provided by this third eye. Has anyone wondered why Lord Shiva, a religious deity of Hindus, is depicted to have a third eye at the center of his forehead? It is because of his power of perception. He perceives things that cannot be done by the ordinary with their two eyes. The connection of the third eye to the pineal gland is signified by the aspect of symbolism. The third eye at the center of the forehead portrays the higher understanding and awakening of individuals. When an individual attains the third eye, he sees things differently. It is linked with the connection to God in the spiritual setting as well. As the concept revolves around belief and spirituality, the third eye is the source of conversing with God. It is through this connection that Prince Arjuna conveyed his dilemmas to Lord Krishna and how the latter helped him get through his problems in the Mahabharata. One attains access to a deep connection with the Divine and the Higher Self through the third eye. It helps them to control their inner sagacity and guidance. A link to a detailed video on the hidden secrets between Arjuna and Lord Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita can be found in the description. Whenever Hinduism and its concepts are discussed, yoga and meditation never go unattended. Yoga is an exercise that is most popular to bring inner peace and wisdom. Astonishingly enough, this is also connected to the concept of the third eye. As it is a source of intuition and wisdom in beings, yoga or meditation becomes the best way to develop and nourish this organ. In fact, both the meditation and the third eye are complementary as one helps the other in recognizing the inner self. Yoga techniques such as pointing at the place of the forehead 
where the third eye is situated, are therefore considered the best to activate it. It is a source of purification and enlightenment for individuals. With the two eyes, one cannot find the true meaning of life. It is only with the activation of the third eye that man develops the moral sense that prevents wrongdoing and fosters the right path for him. Resultantly, the soul of the man gets purified. Similarly, the enlightenment of the mind is only possible when the third eye is developed. All the sages that have lived on the earth are therefore deemed to have developed the third eye. Lastly, the inner journey of self-discovery is part of the pineal gland, or the Ajna Chakra. This helps people find answers to the most disturbing question that occupies all minds, the purpose of life. Getting this answer is almost impossible for ignorant minds who have not developed the wisdom of the third eye. Gautam Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, also developed inner wisdom through the activation of the pineal gland. He then embarked on the voyage of discovering the inner self. Ajna Chakra is indeed the most profitable for the development of wisdom and enlightenment for human beings. The pineal gland, as it is called in the scientific nomenclature, is a source of conversing with higher spirits in Hinduism that benefits human intellectual development. Although the basis of this concept lies in Hinduism, the New Age beliefs combine this spiritual discourse with the metaphysical explanation of the universe. This has become important after science has been found incapable of answering the mysterious questions of the world. Developing the mind by activating the pineal gland is the key concept in the modern metaphysical field of study. It emphasizes the intuition of the mind against established and untested beliefs. Albert Einstein had said, The intuitive mind is a sacred gift, and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. Perhaps the time is ripe for activating the inner wisdom by the third eye. In the New Age philosophy, the pineal gland is considered the physical counterpart of the third eye. The metaphysical nature of this gland deals with the intuition of the mind and spiritual perception. It elevates individuals to higher consciousness, which cannot be achieved without it. It is considered as the third eye which, when developed, makes one leave the physical and rational consciousness and reach a spiritual and a metaphysical one where the purpose is much higher. The pineal gland's spiritual connection is also proven by researchers. Dr. Rick Strassman, a medical doctor, in his book DMT, The Spirit Molecule, explores the role of substances in the brain to the pineal gland and spiritual experiences. Dr. Manley P. Hall, an author and a researcher, in his book, The Pineal Gland, The Eye of the God, explains the significance of the gland in spiritual development. This concept has found great appeal in the New Age beliefs. This philosophy tends to combine the Western esoteric traditions such as Hermeticism, Kabbalah, and Theosophy. These concepts are merged into the wider knowledge about the pineal gland and the third eye and greater wisdom attainment is intended through this combination. There is a concept in metaphysics that the pineal gland acts as a transmitter and a receiver of the cosmic energy. It is through this gland that an individual harmonizes with the energy of the stars and the heavenly bodies. Alignment with the cosmic energy is only feasible when the third eye is sufficiently developed. It cannot be experienced in the physical realm of existence. Carl Sagan said, The nitrogen in our DNA the calcium in our teeth, the iron in our blood, the carbon in our apple pies were made in the interiors of collapsing stars. We are made of star stuff. If human composition is the cosmos, the truth of nature can be best explored through connecting with the essentials, cosmos, not the physical world. The connection between the pineal gland and the healing of individuals using their phrenic capacity is widely understood in modern sciences. The metaphysical aspect of this concept deals with the holistic healing of individuals. What it means is that the pineal gland has healing powers. 
The techniques used for this type of healing are various. All of these emphasize meditation and the mindfulness of beings for healing. These practices function with the main purpose of awakening the third eye, which ultimately leads to spiritual growth. Dr. David Wilcock in his book, The Synchronicity Key, discusses the role of the pineal gland in arousing consciousness that helps in healing. It then leads to spiritual evolution. Arguably the most beneficial aspect of the third eye is the escape from the physical world. When a third eye is attained by any creature, it enters the parallel dimensions to the physical world of existence. They do not think like ordinary people nor the petty issues have any value to them. Embracing meta-narrative is the symptom of acquisition of the third eye. It is the same reason that sages of all ages have this philosophy of shunning the trivial and accepting the meta-dimension of nature. This is the sole concept that has explained the mysteriousness of the universe. The basic principle involved in this field of discourse is, if there is no solution to any problem of nature, the wisdom is to change the dimension of thinking. Metaphysics and spirituality that involve using the third eye pineal gland concept provide this platform. In modern times, there is a troika of conceptual roots surrounding the third eye, the new age beliefs, and the scientific research surrounding the development of the pineal gland. As we have discussed the first two aspects in detail, it is fitting to explore the scientific explanation of the pineal gland. Science might not have conclusive evidence of the pineal gland as the third eye, but it has established its certain characteristics that can be analogized with the spiritual explanation. The pineal gland secretes melatonin, which is important for a good sleep cycle. The sleep cycle in turn is about the wakefulness of individuals. The term wakefulness is quite similar to awakening and enlightenment, which are considered the basic function of Ajna Chakra, or the pineal gland in spirituality. So, it can be said that scientific research on this concept, however limited, does not disprove its authenticity, if it does not prove it. Share. Did you know that our bodies hide such an important organ that can unlock unsuspected potentials within us? What do you think about the third eye after this video? Subscribe to the channel. And if you're thirsty for more knowledge, just play the video on the left of your screen.